YouTube, Level by Level Gamer here, and this is Abadox presented by Milton Bradley and Natsume in 1989, and I will be playing this for the Nintendo Entertainment System. So, the premise of the game, you have a giant space monster that has not only destroyed your entire fleet, but has swallowed the princess, and you, as the lone survivor, must literally fly into the belly of this beast and save the day. First of all, I'd like to say that as an 80s kid, I would think that's pretty cool. Just the art style of this game and the premise of it. As far as gameplay, it is a, a side scroller slash vertical scroller shoot 'em up. So with that, uh, the difficulty in this game is is collecting your power ups, not getting hit, and carrying those power ups with you through till the end of each level. And I will tell you, this game will punish you for dying and losing those power ups. So, as we start the first level here, you'll see that we start collecting our power-ups, that first one being a speed power-up, which makes my ship a little more snappy, and now we have our first weapon power-up, so I have a spread shot that covers more of the screen whenever I fire. Our barrier power-up here is uh, what gives me that spinning orb that you see that is flying around my ship. Now, that little spinning orb will start to uh, block or absorb these projectiles, and it will also kill some of the enemies that just so happen to fly into it. With these barriers, you can have up to four of those spinning around your ship and protecting you at any given time. And you will want to collect those and maintain those as much as possible. As far as the level design, each level is about five minutes from beginning to end. And here you can see we are right at that midpoint and we encounter our first mini boss, this weird skeletal dog thing. Um, with this guy you can see that uh, he has a pattern and as long as you stay to the back edge of the screen avoid the one shot that comes out and directly at you as well as those three shots that come out of the top of his head and stay to the back and slowly pick at him you will destroy him and continue on into the mouth of the creature and further in so Back to what I was saying about power-ups. Um, you'll see that in these levels, or these early levels, I really don't avoid um, picking up the speed power-ups because they really don't harm you or help you at this point. But later on, I will actually start to avoid those, and I'll explain why as we progress into other videos. Our next weapon power-up we get here is an upgraded spread shot. You can see that it uh, has, I think, five projectiles that come out and just help you clear a screen. I've also just collected some missiles and the P power-up. I'll be honest, I don't quite remember what the manual calls those, but you can see my ship is glowing intermittently and that is that power-up. But also you can see that I ran straight into that column. Now what prevented me from getting killed was the fact that I had that P power up and it absorbed that blow. And as I pick up my final barrier, I have all four. You can see entering into this final boss battle for the first stage, I have missiles, upgraded spread shot, four of uh, barrier orbs spinning around my ship and at that point I'm so powered up that I can stay right here directly in front of the main boss, shoot it in the eyes, and it dies. 